So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fully reversible Jessie and Bo Peep dress. I'm not going to be doing this as a full tutorial for the whole dress, but I am going to be showing how I took my Alice pattern, which is a basic skater dress, and turned it into the Jessie and Bo Peep style. And then you can go on and watch the full tutorial for that dress separately. So this should be quite beginner friendly and quite easy to follow. I also have a children's pattern for this dress dress so if you want to make it for kids as well you can so let's get on with the video so for this project I used a fabric with a four-way stretch this is 95% cotton 5% elastane um, for the jesse side you will need yellow white navy and then a cow print fabric if you can't find any cow print I have made this file available so that you can have it printed yourself at a fabric printing website. I normally use Fashion Formula, it's very, very straightforward. You just upload the file and then size it however you want and they will print it for you. And then for the Bo Peep side, you need a baby pink, a kind of turquoisey blue, and then a white material with pink polka dots and exactly the same with this if you can't find something similar to this I do have the file available so all of my custom printed fabric was from Fashion Formula and all of my plain fabric is from Jelly Fabrics um, I also used some embroidery thread on both this side and the Jessie side so for this side I used white and the Jessie side I used red I've just gone in and cut all of my pattern pieces out of this paper just because it's going to be easier to see on the white table but also when you are making a project like this you quite often need multiples of each pattern so if you have some paper like this you can draw out whatever you need multiples of so in this example I needed multiple of the top pattern and um, so you can draw out multiple of them without having to keep printing them and keep having to piece them together and cut them out. So just having some, I think this is A3 paper, just having some bigger paper can be really, really handy for pattern making. So the pattern that you'll need is my Alice sewing pattern, which is a very, very straightforward pattern. You will only have three pieces. One of them will be pattern piece one, which is your top, you will have pattern piece two, which is your skirt, and then pattern piece three, which is your pocket. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to alter the Bo Peep side. So for Bo Peep, there's only one pattern piece that you're gonna to need to alter, which is the top piece. So the skirt and the pocket are completely fine as they are. So in terms of which fabrics you need to cut them out in, the pattern piece for the skirt, you will need to cut four in total out of the pink spot fabric. So four of them. And then for your pocket, you want to cut the same fabric as your skirt, or if you just have a plain pink, anything will really work because you're not gonna see them too much. So again, you're gonna cut another four of them out in your pink spot fabric now for this if you are using a fabric with a right and wrong side like I would be with the pink spot fabric you need to make sure that you draw out two in this orientation with this straight edge facing right and then flip it and draw another two with this straight edge facing left so then moving on to the top piece I'm just going to start by folding this in half so that I have a center point you could also just measure the bottom here, mark where that center is. And then I'm gonna use this dress as a guide. You don't have to do this precise at all. You can just kind of guess, but I'm gonna do this section as three inches across. Obviously this will vary a lot depending on what size you're making. So I'm gonna do this as three inches. So I'm just going to measure this. I'm gonna put the point where one and a half is and then measure three and then the end of the ruler. Just ignore the rest of these dots. I did it a little bit wrong. Um, 
and then I'm going to line up my end of my ruler and my three to the straps. So just up like that. Again, like I said, it doesn't have to be precise. When you're wearing it, you will not be able to tell one way or another. And then I'm just going to cut this middle section out. Now, the important thing is to think about seam allowances. Um, so when this was all attached together, the seam allowance was included in the pattern. But because we've just essentially created two extra seams, we need to add a seam allowance to each of these lines. So here we're going to want a seam allowance. But for example, on the rest of this piece, you're only going to need a seam allowance up to here and then around the rest of the top you don't need to add anything and then on this side you will need a seam allowance and also on this side so you will be adding seam allowance here and here but nothing here and here and then again on this side. So then these will all go back together when you sew them. So in terms of which fabrics you need, you need both of these sides to be in pink and you need one of each. And then for the centerpiece, you need this to be blue. And again, you just need one. Just in case you're not sure what I mean about adding the seam allowance, I'll just show you on this example. So here you've got three lines that don't need a seam allowance and one that does. So for the lines that don't need it, you will just draw them in as you normally would with any pattern piece, you would just follow around the edges. Whereas where you've got this seam allowance, you don't need to do this, but you can be a little bit more precise here. I know that the seam allowance for the pattern is six millimeters, so I can find where six millimeters is and just mark it, just so that I can follow that line and then draw that across. It really doesn't need to be precise, but that's how you add your seam allowance. So your box is just a little bit bigger than your pattern piece. So wherever you are cutting into the pattern, you want to add this kind of seam allowance. For your bow peep side, you will also need a top piece that will be the back of the dress. Think about it now, this, is, this makes a lot more sense to do this before the bit that you just did so that you can wait before you cut the piece up. Um, so for this one, you just need one in your pink fabric. So I just cut another template out to be able to do this back piece, but you can obviously just use this piece to cut out the pink piece for the back and then cut it up to do the blue and the pink for the front piece. So that's everything that you're gonna need for Bo Peep. The only thing that you're gonna need to do before you can go over to the Alice tutorial, anything that you cut the patterns. So here we have cut the pattern down this piece. The pieces that you have, you need to sew them back together to come back to your original piece. So with this one, you will do right sides together here and sew down this edge, and then right sides together here and sew down this edge. And then you will have one piece that looks like your original top pattern piece again. So. I will put everything on screen now with what colours you need in each piece and then I'll show you exactly what I mean about sewing things back together. So moving on to the Jessie side, there's only one pattern piece for this side that you're going to leave as is and that's the pocket side which I would recommend doing in your navy fabric. So you want four of these in navy. You want to draw two in this orientation with your straight edge facing left and then flip it and two in this orientation with your straight edge facing right. And then taking your skirt pattern piece, honestly I 
don't do this in a precise way at all. I just find a random point and draw across where I want to split this piece. So if you want it to be a bit more precise, you could fold it in half and cut it like that. But honestly, you will not notice when everything is sewn together if it's a bit wonky. So literally just put your pattern down the middle. And then here, you will want to add a seam allowance to this seam. and a seam allowance to the seam. So when you draw this out, you want to draw out normally around there and then here you want to just draw a little bit above where this line is just to give you that extra seam allowance. So then you want this one, you want to cut it out four times in your navy fabric. And for this one, you want to cut it out four times in your cow fabric. So four of each. And then once you've cut both of them out, you want to put them right sides facing together and sew them along this edge so that they are attached back together. So then for the top, again, I'm not going to do this in any kind of precise way. I'm just going to come a little bit below the armpits a little bit more because you've got to remember you've got to add the pattern up here and let's see draw a line across there and then cut these two in half and then you need to cut two of this one in the white because one for the front and one for the back and then two in this one in the yellow and then once you've cut them both out with the seam allowance, you can put them right sides together and sew them together so that you get back to your original piece. And then the only other things that are specific to this particular project are the embroidery markings that they have. So for the Jessie side, I just drew half of this on with pencil, I got an image up on Google to copy it and then to make sure that it was quite even on this side because I could not do it freehand, I took a red fabric marker and coloured in on top of this thread and then folded it in half and it worked really really well, gave me a guide, perfect guide for doing this side, obviously it's not perfectly symmetrical but it is way better than what I was doing freehand. And I would recommend doing this as soon as you have attached these two top pieces together. So the yellow and the white, once you've sewn these together, go in and do your embroidery before things start to get a lot more complicated with the piece. And for Bo Peep's side, it's even more straightforward. I literally just took my thread in diagonals across here to make it look kind of like a corset and again I would recommend doing that as soon as you have sewn the pink to the blue to the pink so you just have like a flat piece before you start to attach everything together. So then once you get to that point you can just go and follow the Alice tutorial like normal which I will link on the screen and down below.